Hey guys, it's Layla. Um, today I'll be doing uh, the Venus drainage or the Venus sinuses of the Jura Mater along with uh, some of the veins that drain into these sinuses. Our uh, mnemonic for today is a bit long uh, just because I've mentioned the sinuses. So you have science often takes some crazy pictures showing stuff um yeah so we'll write the letters down and then name the sinuses now what you need to know is that the veins of the brain drain into superficial venous plexuses and the dural sinuses okay so the dural venous sinuses are valveless channels and they're located between two layers of the dura mater most of the venous blood ultimately drains into the internal jugular veins so they're very important now let's name the sinuses so you've got the superior sagittal sinus you've got the occipital sinus the transverse also the lateral if you want you've got the sigmoid you've got the cavernous the petrosal which has got the superior and the inferior petrosal then you've got the straight sinus and the superior longitudinal sinus and there's a confluence of the sinuses that means uh, like a merging of two or three sinuses okay and so um, the blood from the cortex on the upper lateral and the medial aspects of the cerebrum drains into the superior sagittal sinus and uh, from the occipital into the occipital sinus and these two they go into the transverse which goes into the sigmoid and which ends in the internal jugular vein or the veins right there's something known as the emissary veins and these connect for example some dual sinuses connect with the veins superficial to the skull by emissary veins okay and an example would be the cavernous um, sinus which is connected with emissary veins to the ophthalmic vein So they act as pressure valves and are also routes for the spread of infection into the brain case. So this is the medial aspect of the cerebrum. Here you can see the important veins, which would be the choroidal vein, the internal cerebral vein, which goes to become the great cerebral vein of Gallen. And it is also joined by the basal vein. And these empty into the straight sinus. Now you can see the sinuses that we have mentioned here. You've got the superior longitudinal sinus and the occipital sinus. The That one, those two and the straight sinus drain into the confluence of the sinuses, which is what I told you is where the sinuses match. Now from here, from the confluence of the sinuses, you also have the superior sagittal sinus emptying there. And this confluence of sinuses then goes on to become the transverse sinus, which drains into the sigmoid sinus, and that eventually drains into the internal jugular vein. Now, from the other side, you've got the cavernous sinus, which I told you is connected with emissary veins to the ophthalmic vein, so that drains into the cavernous sinus. You have the, which forms the inferior and the superior petrosal sinuses. They also eventually end into the sigmoid sinus, which drains into the internal jugular vein. The important veins in this picture now, which is the lateral aspect of the brain, you can see the ophthalmic vein and the middle cerebral vein. These are important veins in that drain into the sinuses of the Jura Mata. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up guys and subscribe for more videos. Take care.